Hello again, welcome to the second video of this presentation of Rules Panes at TripleCamp Stockholm 2013. In this video I'm going to show you what uh, Views Bulk Operations is very briefly because you've probably seen it before and then I'm going to show you how Rules Components can fit together with Views Bulk Operations. Uh, so here I have um, uh, the project node presentation at TripleCamp Stockholm and here's a list of tasks down here and I'm going to edit this view. I'm actually going to do it in a separate tab. And then I'm going to cut up this destination parameter here. There we go. Uh, views, bulk, views bulk operations is already enabled on the site. It's part of the feature that we enabled previously. It uh, provides views with a new type of field. And if I add a field here, you can see I have a bulk operations content. Uh, allows you to perform actions on content listed in the view. I'm going to add this. Huh. What happened here? Uh, I'm going to make a new try. I'm going to add a field here. Da -da -da. And then I get to configure the field. That's good. Um, here is the important part. The selected bulk operation. Things we can do with this bulk operation. I'm going to select this one, delete item, just to start with. And I'm going to change the bulk operation settings to have everything as a separate button. Uh, apply. And then if you used bulk operations, use bulk operations before, you know you want to have this field on first because it makes more sense. It's, this will provide a checkbox for each item in the view. So I'm going to put it first and then I'm going to save. And then we'll see here. There, reload. Here, uh, here we now get a checkbox uh, for each of them. Well, the, the single item here, but we get a checkbox for that, and we can select delete item. And I don't want to do that. Do I sure want to do this? No, sorry, cancel. Like that. So uh, you get operations you can do on view uh, views items, and that's kind of useful. Uh, however. Uh, the things you can do with views bulk operations alone is limited and you can extend this using the rules and I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a new uh, rules component I'm going to go into configuration workflow rules components and I'm actually going to straight going straight to add new component I'm going to add and uh, create an action that allows us to mark a task as done and I'm going to do this by creating a rule Hopefully you've seen this before, creating your uh, rules components, which will say mark as done. And this will take a parameter, a task that should be marked as done. This is a parameter going into this action. It's an entity that is a node. Let's call it task, machine name task, save changes. And in rules, you need to verify that uh, uh, an entity has a field before you can manipulate that field. I'm going to check that the content is of a particular type, and then rules knows what fields is on that content type. So the task should be a task. And if this passes the, the conditions here, rules knows what fields the, the task has. So now I can modify them. So let's add an action. I'm going to add a uh, set a data value for the task. There are fields here. I'm going to uh, uh, status, field status. There it is. Set this field to the value done. Save. Okay, so now I have a component here uh, that takes a parameter that is a node. When the first parameter is an entity, uh, this can be used in views bulk operations. So if I go to the view here, I can edit the bulk operations field. Tick, tick, tick. And down here somewhere, we have the mark as done. Down here. And I'm going to check this skip confirmation step as well. Apply. Now we have two different actions we can do with this bulk operations view, and that's kind of handy. Saving that, going to the list of items, of tasks. We have a new button here. I can click this one, mark it done, 
and it will process and and there we are is now marked as done and that's kind of handy to have on, on a project uh, task list like this and um, all right so this is kind of what I want to show you in this video we have seen views bulk operations we have seen that you can create rules components that can work with rules and uh, with views bulk operations and uh, this is possible if the first parameter uh, where are we here the first parameter is an entity that matches anything that's listed in the view um, it's also possible to have in rules lists of stuff you can for example have lists of node items that will work as well in views bulk operations um, all right let's not save that because that would change things quite a bit uh, in the next video we're going to uh, have a look at uh, and how to work with components that have several uh, parameters. See you there.